Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and before we even get into the video, you might be asking, RBT, why are you dressed up? Why do you look like scarce? Because I just got back from doing this. You guys ready? Yeah! Three, two, one. So I actually had an awesome opportunity to go and speak to some students at a local, or kind of not even local, so 45 minutes away, a middle school, and they invited me to come speak. Absolutely awesome. Told the kids that I was going to put them in today's video. So that was awesome, and if you're one of those kids watching, thanks for being awesome, and good luck on your exams next week. But today's video, boys, as you see from the title, is going to be showing you guys the NFL draft picks from the first round in Madden 18. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you their overalls. It's not set in stone that these are going to be their overalls for Madden 19, but it is going to be about right where it's going to be. So we're going to see, we're going to sim a season. We're going to see how the rookies play, how Madden 18 thinks the rookies are going to be, and we'll be great. And also, at the very end, I might go over like their ultimate team cards because they all got like a very good ultimate team card, but that's if time permits because, dog, I've been running around all day and I have 30 minutes before I got to leave. And that's not a good thing when you're trying to make a quality YouTube video. So hopefully this video is solid. Hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And if you do, make sure to drop a like on the video because every like really does help out the channel a lot. So let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Once we do hit 200,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a massive console giveaway to you guys. So be sure to subscribe to have a chance to take part in an incredible giveaway. And if you want to have another chance to win a console, I am doing an instant. Instagram console giveaway once we do hit 10,000 followers so be sure to go follow my Instagram if you haven't link in the description box below also make sure to turn on the notification bell and have it selected to all videos so you do not miss any uploads on the channel and starting today I am going to start shouting out a comment every single video the comment is going to be from the previous uploaded video and one of the first 15 people to comment will be selected to be shouted out for my next video so make sure you have notifications on to have a chance to be shouted out as always hang in their merch top of the description box below every single dollar earned from the shirt sales is going directly to charity getting so close to our goal of shirt sales so be sure to go buy a shirt to be a part of a great cause while also rocking some awesome merch long intro rbt over with let's get into the rest of the video so i did decide to use the cleveland browns for today's video just because why not we're gonna let baker mayfield be the starter but he's actually an 83 overall so the same exact overall as tyrod taylor but just so he can play in today's video and see how he does throughout the simulation he is going to be the starting quarterback. Now, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, their defense tackle that they did draft in the first round was Vita Vea, and he's an 81 overall. Now, moving on to the Cardinals, of course, they did draft Josh Rosen, and he is going to be a 78 overall behind Sam Bradford. So, interesting to see if he will play in today's video. Now, the Chargers got themselves a very good pick. And they have Derwin James, a 77 overall, have to see if he plays in today's video. And to avoid this being an extremely long, drawn-out video, I'm not going to go over every single draft picks overall, but I will go over the highlights. And also, the Browns did get a cornerback, and it's a pretty good one. Best one in the draft, Denzel Ward, 82 overall. Now, next, I want to go and check Saquon Barkley, the second overall draft pick. I guarantee, have a feeling he's going to be the highest overall rookie in the game and currently in the rosters and he is going to be a 86 overall so he's actually behind Jonathan Stewart with play time he's probably gonna overtake him now Sam Darnold in the New York Jets what's this man's overall it is going to be a 79 so he's behind Josh McCown so he might not play next we have Bradley Chubb I think this is a great pick for the Broncos their D-line is in nasty they just need to work on that offense but Bradley Chubb is going to be an 85 overall. I had a feeling he was going to be the second highest overall rookie, and it looks like he is. Next, we have Quentin Nelson. We're going to go over the top 10 and then the rest of the notable ones. We have Quentin Nelson, the best offensive lineman out of this year's draft. Went to the Indianapolis Colts. Good pick for them. He is an 85 overall. Next, we have Josh Allen. I'm very interested to see his overall in this year's game. Very interested to see if it's like lower than all the other quarterbacks. He is a 78. That's a little bit higher than what I thought. He's be one of the few quarterbacks that actually start in today's video because of the overalls in Madden 18. Next, we have Roquan Smith to the Chicago Bears. And he ends up being, I'm going to say like an 82 overall for Roquan Smith. And he was not. Is he a middle linebacker? Okay, he's an 82 overall. That's solid. Next, we have Mike McGlinchey from the San Francisco 49ers, the offensive tackle. 
he is going to be, I'm going to say like an 83-ish overall. He's going to be an 80. And unless they change around the depth chart, he's not going to start ahead of Joe Staley. They should go ahead and just put him at right tackle. Couple more notable first round picks. I'm going to go over just for the video's sake. I don't want it to be too, way too long. DJ Moore, wide receiver. The first wide receiver drafted, if I'm not mistaken, before Calvin Ridley. That surprised me. Went to the Panthers. And he ends up being a 76 overall. So he will get some playing time. So it's going to be interesting to see. Since this is like the first year of Madden. There's nothing I can do about that in this simulation. It's going to be interesting to see if a real rookie actually wins rookie of the year. Or if it's a rookie that was already in Madden 18. If that makes sense to you. Next, we have Calvin Ridley. This is going to be a disgusting wide receiver core. He should be higher than a 74, 100%. Calvin Ridley is going to be incredible, I believe. This wide receiver core, this offense is going to be so deadly with Matt Ryan. That, that running back core, wide receiver core, this is going to be nasty. But I'm kind of disappointed he's a 74. Now, I have a feeling Rashad Penny from San Diego State is going to be the lowest overall rookie out of this draft class in this video just kidding he's a 78 and he looks just like Blake Sims for some reason he's not actually a rookie in today's video that's a mess up in the roster and last but not least the last notable rookie I do want to go over well first of all I want to go over Sony Michelle from the New England Patriots see what his overall is it is a 76 so he's actually not gonna play in today's video so that sucks last but not least Lamar Jackson got drafted to the Baltimore Ravens, and that's absolutely incredible. I love that pick for the Ravens. He's actually a 75, so he's second string, and he's not going to play. Well, I wish there was a way I could make all these quarterbacks play, but I can't. So with that said, that is the most notable rookies. Now what we are going to do is simulate to the end of this season and see how the teams do with their new draft picks and see if there's actually any real rookies that's going to be in next year's game in next year's NFL. I actually win the rookie of the year. My bet's on Baker Mayfield. Let's see how much Baker Mayfield actually improves the Browns. Wait, did we... We made the playoffs? The Browns make the playoffs with Baker Mayfield. What the heck? Baker Mayfield obviously wasn't a bust. What the heck? So keep in consideration all the new free agency and trades and everything's also implemented in this roster. This is the most up-to-date roster you possibly can get in Madden. But still, the Browns to go from 0 to 10 wins is insane. What if we actually, if we win the Super Bowl, that's a mic drop and I'm ending the video there. But let's see how other teams did. Let's see if there's any surprises right here. And I, I gotta hurry up. I want this video to be as good as possible, but I gotta hurry up. I wanna make sure this video goes up today. Falcons go 14-2. So what I tell you about the offense and that wide receiver core... Let's see, Rams did good, Packers did well, Vikings did well, the Eagles went 11-5, that's definitely a surprise right there. The Browns is the prize of the NFL, the Colts squeaked by, the oh not the Colts, well they do, the Colts and Steelers both squeaked by, my Titans didn't make the playoffs, apparently Rashawn Evans didn't really work out on our defense as much, so I guess 9-7, I don't know how they made it, didn't make it over the Colts, but anyways, how about any teams that, do, that did bad, the Giants went up, got 7 wins, a lot better with Saquon Barkley there. Cardinals with Josh Rosen got six wins. Not necessarily sure if he started. And also, I kept on, I put on injuries for this video just so possibly some backup rookies could play. And I just wanted to be as realistic as possible for today's video. The Cowboys only won six games. The Ravens only won five. Jets only won four. So Sam Donald didn't really do too well for him. They actually did play. And the Bucks and Bears did bad. So let's see if one of the rookies actually did win the rookie of the year. The Browns had the 13th best offense in the NFL. Defensively, they had the 25th, so I don't know how he won 10 games with both like uh, sides of the ball being kind of average. But anyways, let's go to the yearly awards really quick. Aaron or Drew Brees wins the MVP. No rookies in the top 10. Now, let's go to the AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Deshaun Watson. But the first actual real rookie, so I guess the Rookie of the Year for today's video, does go to Baker Mayfield, and I think he's the only rookie on this list, so that's a disappointment, but according to Madden, Baker Mayfield's going to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year in the AFC. Now, Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Tremaine Edmonds, the first round pick of this year for the Buffalo Bills, so there you go, he's an 82 overall, didn't highlight him earlier, but he did really well, so there you go, Bills fans, get yourself a Rookie of the Year, only helped you win six games though, and it looks like that is it, no, Harold Landry, okay, I know, I know what happened, I know what happened, I know what happened. The other rookies that the second round at this point in time has not happened. The other top 100 rookies were free agents. So basically we can say they got drafted. I was confused. Harold Landry. So the ones that didn't actually get drafted in the first round just got signed out of free agency. So sorry about that confusion. 
So next, let's go to the NFC defensive rookie of the year goes to Reuben Foster, Jonathan Allen, and Roquan Smith. So that's the real rookie of the year here. And that makes sense to me, really, because he, he is going to have, I think, a great year. Malik Jefferson, some guys are on the fence about this guy. The Saints picked him. He had a good year, and that does it there. But NFC Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Darius Geis, who ended up as, <laughs> as uh, Devin Wade and ends up on the Seattle Seahawks. So this game think, thinks the Seahawks are going to draft him in the second round. So Quan Barkley actually finished behind... Uh, Darius Geis, but he did end up an 88 overall, so that's incredible. And Calvin Ridley does come in the top 10. Technically, he comes in third place if it wasn't for the other guys that aren't really rookies. Last thing I do want to see is some of the rookie stats. Baker Mayfield looked like he had a great year. 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, 6 picks. Not bad at all. Next, let's see if on the Bills our man played here. Nope, Josh Allen just played a little bit, so apparently he's going to sit behind AJ McCarron, which is probably what is going to happen in real life next let's go to the Cardinals and see what our man did here Josh Rosen did play I guess, I guess a couple guys got hurt but it looks like he was by far the best quarterback here 1200 yards 10 touchdowns to two picks Sam Bradford didn't do too well so Josh Rosen I actually think in real life he's gonna be an incredible player next let's go and see if by chance our man Lamar Jackson got to play he did and he struggled four touchdowns six picks how many rushing yards did he get he had over a thousand yards passing he wow. Did he not have did he not run like once? Or am I blind? Oh hey, I'm blind. He had 160 yards on the ground and touchdown. Not bad. 5.7 yards per carry. Now on the Jets, Sam Darnold did end up becoming the starting quarterback. 10 touchdowns, three picks, so a lot better than what people thought in real life. That's actually pretty interesting. And last but not least, I do want to see how Saquon Barkley did. Not really that great. 834 yards, four touchdowns, 3.9 yards per carry. That's below average. But keep into consideration the offensive line that he's working with. It's not the greatest in the world. Now, it is time, boys, to see if somebody can... Sub they actually, we got a first-round bye with the Browns. That is insane. Let's go ahead and sim to the offseason. And let's see if the Browns can win the Super Bowl. It is time. Postseason Super Bowl, the Rams. Anticlimatic. 31-28. How far did the Brown the Browns did the Browns lose our first game? Yep. We lost to the Jags. Well, that's an unfortunate ending to the video. Well, let me know what you thought about your team's pick in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. Turn on the notification bell if you haven't. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. God bless and peace.